In this week's episode, we're going to talk about all the crazy rumors floating about like adamantium coming from Tiamat Island and how that links to the Eternals. Robert Downey Jr., well, his potential to come back into the MCU. And if we might see Ben Affleck jump ship from DC and play a role in the MCU. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg, because as usual, we have rumors flying left, right and center over the last week. But we're also going to look at how some of these relate to comic prices and speculate on what might go up. And as you can see, I have a special guest in the show who will be presenting his own toy review segment. So we welcome our resident toy master, Liam. Liam, say hi. Hi. Look, smile. Hey, there we go. But first, can I ask you to please like, subscribe, and share to the video if you're enjoying the content. I love keeping everyone up to date with what's going on in the Geek Multiverse. Liam, what do you have to say? We're gonna, I'm gonna do some Akedo um, um, video and it's gonna be later on. So Perfect. So stick around and we'll be right back after the intro. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Comic Cave. So it's a new year and a fresh start with new content every week and we might have a new segment for you. So as I said, meet our resident toy master, Liam. Well, we're going to get back to you, to your segment, as soon as we're done with the news. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. So let's start off with something different and it isn't Marvel or DC. A crazy rumor I heard was that Warner Brothers is working on a reboot of Harry Potter with a whole new cast. And it's been almost 25 years, but this just feels wrong. What do you think about it? They didn't do that, it's perfect the way it is. I agree. You know what? I, I, I really love the books. And although I would enjoy more content, it just, a reboot seems like a soulless money grab to me. Yeah. Everyone is super excited about Daredevil finally coming to the MCU. And Charlie Cox has been, well, he's been in the news quite a bit over the last week. We know Born Again is going to be 18 episodes long. Oh. Um, that's just season one. And this week we heard that it's going to be more focused around a courtroom drama. So what I really liked is that he is going to be reading all the comics from start to finish just to prepare for this role. Okay. That sounds pretty cool to me. Um, and we heard that Echo, and she's the character Maya Lopez, but she is going to be, her whole series has been pushed back, unfortunately. Um, and we're only going to get that in early 2024. Who did that? So she was the one the character that blinded Kingpin um, well, that's a little bit graphic for you, but you'll get there. I think it's ready to air, but they still need to do a few edits. I think rather they're waiting for the timelines to coincide. Speaking of timelines, it looks like Shang-Chi 2, that's the wreckage of time, is set to air before Avengers Kang Dynasty. So I'm thinking that Shang-Chi is going to have a huge role to play to fight Kang with the Avengers because of the Rings of Power. Oh! That's yeah, yeah, that's what I said. So what are the rings? Oh, we'll get to that just now. So Nova might be turned into a full movie rather than the special presentation format that everyone was expecting. Isn't that Nova a big explosive bomb? No, Nova's that guy there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. So everyone's been wondering if it's going to be Richard Ryder or Sam Alexander. But I think it's going to be both of them together in the movie, almost like a passing of the torch. That might be. I think that's going to be very cool. So people have been quite upset to hear about Robert Downey Jr. being confirmed to be back in the Avengers 
like secret wars. But it's, see, he's been said that he'll also be in another project. So I'm guessing Armor Wars or War Machine. Oh, War Machine, hmm? I know him. He's a villain. Oh, there's a whole new series he's coming about him. No, he's actually good. Okay, hold on, wait. Um, so there's there's instead of a more like a blatant resurrection of the character, I think he's going to be more of a Jarvis, Jarvis kind of character for Riri Williams. So for those of you who don't know, that's the AI in her Iron, Iron Heart armor. So if he's just a projection of the character and he still plays the role, I think it's going to work really well. And it won't take away from his sacrifice in end game. And that one of the most talked about IP to be developed by Marvel is Fantastic Four Reboot. Now, we heard this week that Isaac Gonzalez is supposed to play Sue Storm. But that still isn't confirmed yet. We are also looking at Penn Badgley or um, who's the other guy for who could have been Mr. Fantastic? Uh, I don't know. Mm, I can't remember. I know it's not going to be John Krasinski, but we'll have to wait and see who they pick. There's been no decision just yet. Then, um, Silver Surfer is supposed to get a presentation before the Fantastic Four movie, That's which it. means that Nora and Rad will see him and his whole origin explained. So, now we're going to get into that part of the show where I talk about rumors that kind of tie into comics. So Aubrey Plaza is going to be joining the cast of Agatha Coven of Chaos. And the latest spec is that Aubrey might be playing Morgana Le Fay. So oh, Morgan Le Fay, not Morgana. So going on that, I'd like to keep an eye out for three issues in particular. So her first appearance is in Black Knight issue one, which you're probably not going to find very cheap because the first appearance, uh, it's a 1955 comic. It was a Golden Age comic made by Atlas, and it goes for about $7,500. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's See, that's the first appearance of Sir Percy. So he's a relative of Dane Whitman, and we know he's going to be a big deal in the MCU very soon because we saw Kid Harrington building up the character in Eternals. So who's going to be... So is the... The human toy is going to be replaced or not? He is going to be replaced. Great question. Hold on. So what I'd say is you're better off getting an issue called Spider-Woman Spider Woman issue 2 from 1978. That's Morgan Le Fay's first appearance after the Golden Age. It's more of a cameo because you only see her disembodied like in one panel. Um, but that will run you at about $15 to $20 currently. The one I would suggest you look for is rather Spider-Woman issue 5. It's also from 1978, and that's considered her first full appearance. Um, and you can get that one for about $20 to $30. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to get rich by hunting any of these or owning them, but you could see a nice price bump if you sell them at the right time, because depending on what Marvel do with the character, if they make her um, her in lots of different projects, as the MCU expands, people Please. will really become a fan favorite and people want to buy the comic. Okay. Okay. That so, be Ben Affleck is rumored to be going after a role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we heard last week that he won't be rep reprising his role as Batman for the DC. So, who do you think he might play? You guys can drop a comment below. I no, I don't really know either, but hold on, there is a rumor. Um, and we'll find out what the current spec is on him. So there's a character called Dario Aja. Now, Dario Aja, well, if you remember a while ago, people thought Christian Bale would be playing the role, but he got the role of Gore the God Butcher, and that was in the movie Love and Thunder. Now, Dario Aja is the CEO for the Roxxon Corporation, but he is really a shapeshifter. So we see him in his human form in Thor, God of Thunder, issue 19. That was in 2014. Oh, Still pretty reasonable. I, I, Thor is, a, a, he has his hammer. Who's the, what's his hammer's name? Mjolnir. Okay, so 
Um, and then you see them in his Minotaur form in issue 20. Now, you can get them for both around about $10 to $20. So I'm not saying pay these prices because uh, no one's saying they're definitely going to go up. But keep an eye out in those back issue boxes and those dollar bins, wherever you go hunting, and maybe you get lucky. There are loads of people speculating on the role Henry Cavill might play in the MCU, um, and they've been buying lots of issues like Captain Britain, Sentry, and Hyperion. But they don't have a Britain army. No, no. So, so this is important though because but no one really knows who he might play. I'm guessing more Cyclops. Some people even saying Wolverine. Oh yeah. We're just gonna have to wait to see when. As soon as the real rumors break. I'll let you know. The last one is Jessica Chastain reportedly playing a major villain in Captain America, A New World Order. Now, the latest rumors suggest she could be playing Sin, and that's the daughter of Red Skull. In the comics, we see her first, well, as a baby, she's taken care of by uh, Suprema. Yeah. Oh, Red Skull, I know who oh, Red Hold Skull on, because this is the next generation. The Red Skull army, I know they have a Red Skull army. Cool, listen to this. So, there are two big issues, in my opinion, to go for, and it's Captain America two, issue 290 from 1984, and that's the first appearance of Mother Superior. It'll set you back about $25 currently, and later we find out her real name is Cynthia Schmidt, and that's in Captain America issue 16 from 2006. She changes her name to Sin, like Cynthia Sin, but you probably can pick one up for about $40, Fast forward to Captain America Reborn issue 6 and there's an explosion that disfigures her face and then she takes up her father's mask and she becomes the new Red Skull. So they'll defend the he Red Skull but I... And this is his daughter who becomes the new Red Skull, a girl. Boom! Shock. Now, wait, hold on. Time for our toy review. Thank you for chilling with me and being such a great guest. Liam... Let us give you this, and you can tell me now. Sir, please tell me. Can you tell me? What game is this? What is this? It's called Arcado, but the normal, they say it's Ready Fight Split Strike. Ah, so what is a split strike? A split strike is, look, when I'm just taking this warrior and then... Wow, he splits. Yeah, we'll do a fight later on, but we'll... F okay. Let's so first I, talk. Okay, cool. So I heard that this is a show on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And, and how, many of, how many of these characters do you have, do you own? I have, I have 25. Wow, that's crazy. Now, if you had to give this toy a rating out of 10, what rating would you give these toys? Uh... Is it like a rating 10 or like just out eight, of 10? Eight. 8 out of 10. That's pretty high. Well, listen, I know you love these. I think they're brilliant. Yeah, and it's just like people like fighting can. They're very, you can block, you can do anything with these guys. So that sounds really cool, Liam. Yeah. So now, can I give, can I tell everyone one last piece of rumor and then we'll get to do a fight? Okay. Camera. Okay, you cool. So let me have the mic quickly. And then let's go talk about one of my favorite comics at the moment, which would have to be um, Invincible. Oh. And people don't know. I mean, most people didn't even know that these comics are turning 20 years old. Um, really? Really. And they all heard about them more when they were coming up from Amazon Prime. Um, oh, Amazon but I picked these up really cheap. Now, this is Invincible Issue 1, which currently goes for about $900. So what is he power? Oh, Invincible's brilliant. I mean, he I'm going to show you the first, the first seven issues and what they look like. But this set, um, when I got it, I think I paid about $30 for the first 10 issues. Um, and I'm so glad I grabbed them when I did. Yeah, because that's great. Oh, yeah, it's been a solid investment. Remember, we have that, still have that competition going where if you tell me I, who is... I know him. That's cool. Um, if you tell me who you find He's scarier... Oh, hold on. If you tell me who you find scarier, Omni-Man, 
from the uh, from Invincible, his dad, or uh, Homelander from the boys, you could win one of our like famous heroes and villain shirts. Yeah. On, and uh, on one of the days you wore this clothes. The yeah. Hall of, of, uh, from uh, a nice little holiday. I think that's, you know what, that's a great idea. And um, Liam, thank you so much for joining me today. You've been a fantastic host. I love you very much. And um, this is Toy Master Liam and Gaz signing off. We'll catch you on this flip side. Okay, bye. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Bye, guys.